Yeah, everybody, and we are back again. We are back again. I'm back here again with the next tutorial. How do you wire up a single way switch that controls more than one light? They are right here, as you can see. These are the lights right there. I'm controlling about three of them from one switch. So we're here again. We're at the next pump house down in Zion, Nevis, West Indies. For all who are watching abroad. Um, we're going to be taking up our 220 source from here. This, this fuel phase isolator. We're going to take it here. We're going, yeah. we're going to take it from here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish everything one time. You done that, Jan? No. Oh, do you know what I'm Like I need. And then like I need also. Okay, all right. We're here. We, 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 we just installed the switch. Before time, it was straight. We had a wire coming straight down from the isolator. So most of the times the light would be directly connected so the light would be on all the time. There would be power in these sockets all the time. So we decided to, recti we decided to rectify that with a switch. Now, when you're wiring a switch, a single way switch, well sorry, we, we use a double pole switch here but we're just using one side of it. You always, you bond your neutral and you bond your ground, nothing else. We are, we, we we should not have a neutral inside here. It's not good to put a neutral inside a switch box. It's not good, but because of this case, we had to, because we're not doing a brand new job. We're just rectifying something. So we had, we had to do this. What you do is, you, put, you, bring in your, you bring in your main, your source, to the line one conductor. The line one screw, sorry. And you bring it out to the line two. That's what you do. It has line three and line two, you bring it out to line, to line two. If you were doing a double way switch, you'll, you'll, you'll have to put something. You'll, you'll have to put an X wire at line, at line three for as, as traveler wire. Now, that's basically how you wire a switch. You're common. That's where your source goes, and you're coming out to line. You, you come out of line one or line three, line line two, whatever you may call it. So that's that's easy. That's how you wire a single way switch in any conduit, in any electrical work, in any area of work you're doing. That's how you do it. What up, what up, my friend? The screws? Maybe we're going to have to use some different screws. Sorry, we're here. Mr. Walters, he just did that. So, you want, you want, well, for those in the firing, you're looking for young electricians, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. You're going to have to pay for us to come, though. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we're here, with, we're at Design Pump House. Um, I, I won't open this box to show you guys anything, so I was just showing you how to how to wire the light, and that's the light on right there. We don't we don't have enough bulbs, so we're just using one, and just to show you guys, that's it locked. That's locked off. The switch is off right there. It's off, and I'm gonna lock it on now. I press in that. The switch is on, and the light is on. So we are gonna get some bulbs to put all around here. No worry. That's how you wire a single way switch. Look carefully again. Look carefully, your neutral is, is wire nut connected together, your ground is connected together, connected together and your, your power, your line or live conductors are in the switch, your source coming in at line one and your, and your traveler wire to the light coming in at line two. That's how you wire a single way switch for anything. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I'm here. God bless you guys. Hit me up on my YouTube page. Don't forget that.